Well, today I'm going to be wiring in a submersible pump to my micro switch tap. I've already ran power cables from my power panel all the way around the side of the van and they are poking out just at the side panel there. Now I've fitted the tap already, secured it through the worktop, uh, so that's already solidly in place. That's the power lines off that. They are marked up positive negative. So to connect the tap to the pump, all of the one power, you connect the positive to the positive feed from your input, or from your power input. Uh, the negative then goes to the positive of the submersible pump. Then the negative of the submersible pump goes then back to the negative of the uh, 12 volt feed. Uh, it might sound a little more complicated than it actually is, but it's just a case of connecting a few chock blocks in the right order. Uh, so I'll get it wired up, I'll show you what I mean, and then that will be a fully working, fully switched, micro switched, submersible pump and tap, all wired in and operational. Right, so that's the positive of the tap, just fed to the positive of the feed. If you were just wiring the tap and not a submersible pump, you just wire the negative straight back to the po uh, power feed as well. But because I'm wiring in a submersible pump that I want activated only when I turn the micro switch tap on, now the negative goes to the positive of the pump. Right, so that's all the wiring complete. So as I said, it's just positive from your power supply to the positive of the tap, negative of the tap to the positive of the pump, then negative of the pump back to the negative of the power supply. So that's all the wiring complete. Uh, I just need to now put the uh, hose on for the pump to go up to the intake from the tap at the top there. This is the blue one. And got a waste pipe connected and that is the tap and sink all wired in. So that's the pump all wired in, so now if I just turn it on at the tap you'll hear the pump whirring away. So obviously if that was in a water container that would just start flowing water through the tap and as I say it's just turned on and off by turning the tap on and off. So that's it really, really really simple, really really easy, you're just taking the positive feed from the live in to the tap, the negative to the pump's positive and then the negative from the pump back to the feed. So there you go, I hope you found the video useful, and if you did, uh, feel free to check out my channel. I'm documenting pretty much the entire conversion of this van on my channel. Everything from insulation, panelling, fitting the seats, sink unit, everything's on there, so feel free to have a look at there. Uh, do subscribe, there's always going to be more videos coming up as well, and please rate the video if you found it useful. Thanks for watching, cheers.